Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner, and today I will be reviewing The Perfect Pen by John Cornelius. Before we do this, can you please check out onlinemagic.co? That's my online magic resource, over 500 videos, actually nearly 600 now. I've just recorded a whole course on an introduction to coin magic, and there's card magic on it, loads and loads of card magic, because that's what it was uh, initially, and loads of live sessions, 89 at time of recording. Uh, and next week, actually tomorrow, we've got Luch, the mentalist, doing, um, doing his is simple and direct mentalism. So check that out and that will all be uploaded onto the course, even if you join up after that. So this is, oh, did I say like and subscribe? Do that as well, might as well. well this is the, the classic trick, pen through note. Um, many, many of us have seen it. I had various versions of this. I had the one with the Sharpie that was fine. Uh, I had the original one, which was kind of like a disposable pen, which I thought was great because it looked, it's got that kind of real well, it's real. It's not a sort of classy pen. It's the sort of pen I would carry around with me because I'm a bit of a scruff. Um, but the thing about those is, be I'm just about to show you that. That's totally not the pen. That's my own pen. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> um, so the thing about this is that it is examinable, apparently. Okay, so the effect on this, there are three penetrations, three ways of putting this through a note. One of them is the classic way where you just kind of stab the pen. Uh, through the note, which I think is pretty cool. It gives it that sound. Uh, the second is a more kind of slow penetration, which is really nice, actually. I think they get gradually better, but has its issues. The third is just kind of the same as the first one, but you actually almost look like you see that, that end of the pen come through the note. Uh, it's direct. It's, you know, it's simple in plot. It's great. It, it has all those rules. Um, so we know it's a good trick. All right, it's been out for years. It's a good trick. Do we need another one? Well, the, the, what I didn't realise is that this is based on a... The John Cornelius originally released his perfect pen and the point was that it was a really classy version of this trick. It was a decent pen and I never saw that. I've never seen that. But looking on the forums, um, I did see that people said it's a really well-made uh, piece of work. And before this com came out, people were like, well, I hope it's going to be like that. And apparently the word on the street, <laughs> this isn't my opinion because I've never seen the original, is that it's not really quite. It's kind of not the same quality as the originals. There's a couple of ones of these because um, since recording that review, I'm editing now, I have had a look online and the original John calling his pen does look look exactly, it does, it's a really good likeness for this pen. So th they have based it on that very well. Where, again, I can't, I haven't handled one, but but the look of it, looking at the photos of the original Cornelius Perfect Pen, it does look very, very similar. It's not a very high price point, this. So I suppose what they've done is they've gone, look, we want it to be accessible, we want people to be able to afford it, and we want it to be a, a, like a nice looking pen and well made. And does it fulfill those criteria? Well, nearly. I, when I first got this out, it, I kind of looked for the gimmick and I didn't see it, but then I did because I played with it for a bit. And this is where, is it examinable? Now, if people were to take this and really look and really start playing around with it, they would feel that there's something kind of amiss and then they might see what it is that's amiss. In many situations, this wouldn't be the case. It uh, wouldn't be a worry because the magic would, you just get on with it and you wouldn't give it to them sometimes. I, you know, I'm not a big one for giving stuff out, but with this, I think it's a bit different because you're borrowing a note a lot of the time and you can write with this pen, which is a great thing, and you can change it, tells you how to, how to change the, um, uh, replace the refill, because it's different, it's gonna be different than a normal pen, so you have to kind of do a little bit of arts and crafts, which is super easy. Um, but because, you've got to think, where are they gonna go with this? If it's their note, they know it's not their note, They've put their name on it and they get that back, so they know that, and they can do that on a lot of notes with this as well, because they don't need a Sharpie, but, Again, we have in the UK and other places, Euros and stuff, with the plastic notes you're going to have, may have a few problems. Um, but they're going to go for the pen. That's the only real explanation. And I know, I showed this to a couple of people and they really wanted to have a good look at that pen. And they, they just naturally, they, that's the only place they could go with it. And I was, and a few of them started sort of, and I went, and I sort of grabbed it back, back off and trying to be as nonchalant as possible. I think that is a kind of an issue. I think with routine you can get over it, but you've got to think about it. I wouldn't just 
want to give this to someone and say, hey, have a good look at it, because if they have a really good look, they're going to, even if they don't find the gimmick, it, there's something about it that feels a little bit un, unstatic. Is that, basically, it move, bits of it move a bit too much. But, okay. The other thing, is it well made? Now, it's, it's okay made. It's, it doesn't feel like a really classy pen. It, there's, there's a slightly mass-produced feel to it. Now, I presume that the originals weren't like that, whether they were handmade or not, I don't know. But this has been, you know, it's a Murphy's Magic product and they get a load of stuff made. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. The price point does reflect it. But I do feel that with this, it would have been, I would like to do something like, you know, the, the, um, the guys from TCC, they're making all these real classic, you know, magic. Is it Magic House? No, it's Wonder House. You know, I did, I did the um, thing about Untrammeled. They're taking these classics and they're making them really high price point, you know, but really beautiful. And I'm not saying that would, there's not a place for this, but I'd kind of like to see a version of this that feels like a really solid, beautiful pen. I'm not saying that would fit most situations, as it wouldn't. If you're doing normal close-up gigs, this is totally fine. You know, it looks like a nice pen. And then and in, in the sort of whole movement of it, people, you know, as long as you don't give it to them, like I said, to kind of, kind of walk away and leave them playing with it. Um, but I think it's fine. It, you know, it is a bit, you know, the, the, this, this bit here has started to bend a little bit. So you've got to look after it. It's a good trick. It's solid. And there's not much more to say about it. A couple of things I forgot to mention, which are important. So difficulty, it's easy, pretty easy. The, the, they get a little bit more difficult. The final penetration is a little bit more difficult. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, there's no stealing of anything, which is quite nice. Uh, the dirty work you have to do is all fairly easy. It's fairly well covered. There's a couple of ways of doing it. It's not going to take any sleight of hand, really. The, there's a couple of moments in it when you have to just be aware of misdirecting, of saying something, getting eye contact, I think. It's not like really difficult misdirection. It's very, very easy. And with practice, you're going to get smooth at it. But there's definitely practice and rehearsal involved in, in doing what you need to do uh, to be able to do it. A couple of people have, have mentioned on the forums, because I did have a look, um, that the the pen cap and things like that were quite loose fitting when they got it. I didn't have any issues with that, but a few people did. I don't know if it's something that they've looked at. And angles, you're totally fine. Yes, there's a little bit of a, if you're completely surrounded with a couple, but I think you can body block with that as well. So I think this is um, definitely difficulty wise, it's within grasp of most people. Will I be adding it to my repertoire? Not really, it's not really my sort of trick, but I think a lot of people will. Oh, oh. Um, um, the only negative for me was that on the second penetration, the the plastic notes in the UK, the magnet wasn't quite strong enough. It's a really lovely penetration, but it just felt like it, it, it kind of things moved in ways I didn't want them to move. So I'd be a little bit worried about that. I've also found that by doing the stab production, the first uh, production, the penetration, the first one, it did actually, after a while of practicing and playing and playing, leave holes in the note. So be careful with it. It does actually... Just that movement, I might have been being a bit heavy-handed, uh, but be careful with that as well. So with paper notes, I think you're totally fine. With the plastic ones, you're just going to have to be aware. You can still do it, it's all good, but just a bit more practice and a bit more awareness of what you can and can't do. Uh, the other penetrations were fine. So that's that. John Cornelius, uh, Perfect Pen. Please use the links below if you want to purchase. Thank you to Murphy's Magic uh, for sending that to me. Uh, any questions in the comments below, I'll be answering them on the comments on comment show on Thursday, UK, five o'clock at time of recording. That might change, but I do, uh, do a live stream so you can come and ask any questions there. Thanks very much. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Subscribe even. Check out onlinemagic.co. Please just go and have a look at it. And, um, and any questions about that, of course, email me. Steve at onlinemagic.co. Have a great one. Cheers.